enemy your enemies will always do this you know why i'm so excited because your enemies will always make this mistake you know why you don't know any other thing you know why because they for them to operate in this present world they need to operate on with a body so they will always go spiritual on you but look at this in first samuel 17 43 to 45 goliath was so vexed in his spirit that they had sent him a small boy after waiting for 40 days do you know what that means goliath came out every day until the 40th day to threaten and when they were going to send him a champion from the people of god the nation called by god it was a small boy that was sent to him he could not comprehend it the truth if you look at Goliath's description, it is terrifying for anyone. Maybe you are going through a particular situation right now. Maybe it's a disease. Maybe it's a, it's, it's, maybe it's, 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 a, it's an issue in the office. Maybe there's a, you know, where you are. You cannot complete. You cannot fathom how this can be resolved. Let me tell you something. The truth is, you cannot fight the government policies. Can you fight their connections? Those people that are threatening you. They're telling you, you know, do you know who I am? And the truth is, some of them are dumb of them don't just boast. They actually, they are actually connected. Can you stand or imagine the rituals they are carrying out to stand where they are right now? So when they boast, they know what they are talking about. And it was the main reason Goliath was really, really, really angry and felt, let me lead this small boy to the altar of the God. If you look at that account, he said, I'll give your flesh to the best of the earth. If David was physically, you know, big like a giant, he can't say give the, best, the, the flesh to the best. Probably give the flesh to, to, to an hungry lion or something like that. That's what Goliath would have said. But because he felt it disdained him, how the Bible says, hey, I wish he knew better. He won't have gone there. First Corinthians 2 it says, He said, Which none of the rulers of this egg knew, for had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Ah, like a sukup. I'm so happy. I'm so joyful. My heart is filled with joy because of this truth. Goliath was so angry that he cursed David in the name of his God. If you look at the account, the Bible says that, the, And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his God. By so doing, he went spiritual on David without knowing that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. But when he got to the spiritual realm, he met the greatest shock of his life. Do you want to know? He could not imagine the same small boy that was presented to him in the spiritual realm was a giant. He could not believe that the same small boy was a giant in the spiritual realm. Brother, what are your knees doing? Have you bent the knee to the enemy because of their threat? Do you know who you are? And the God standing by you. Hey, First John 4, 4 declares that the one in you is greater than the one who is in the world if you actually believe this you go on your knees and begin to pray right now but when you despise the one that is in you then you cannot call upon him to help you Second Corinthians 7 14 also declares that if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and Turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will heal their land. We can complain. We are quick to forward those messages, those WhatsApp messages that look like threats to the church. But we cannot go down on our knees to pray. That's because we don't know what we carry. You know, we are daily giving in to their threats because, you know, we have refused to glue our knees to the ground at the altar. I'll say that again. We are daily giving in to the threats, to their threats, because we have refused to glue our knees to the ground at the altar. When the early church was under threat, what did they do? They went to God. 
the account of Act 4, 29-31. They are now, Lord, behold their threatening, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus. Bible also says in verse 31 that when they had prayed, their place was shaken when they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they speak the word of God with boldness. Ordinary people, the gathering of ordinary people became the gathering of spiritual giants because they called for partnership. The best of all partners in spiritual warfare. What are you doing? Hey, I pray God opens your eyes. I pray God opens your eyes. What are you doing? Lord, fill us with your power and with your great grace. Fill us with your power and with great grace. Oh, laka sike po palaka yaka leke suko po palaka yaga baba. Lord, fill us with your power and with your grace. Fill us with your power and with your grace. Eh, hey, laka suko po palaka yaga baba. The boldness of stand even in this present day. Oh, laka yaga baba. Lord, give unto us. Laka suko po laka yaga baba. Leke sike po malaka yaka laka suko po malaka sike. Your word says, Lord God, that children are like, are like arrows in the hand of the mighty man. Lord, show for your strength, Lord God, through us. In the mighty name of Jesus.